Good day everyone, welcome to our Mac TV channel. So I am your teacher for today and I'm Mr. P.D. Cassie. So for today we are going to discuss about the first most essential learning competency in the senior high school, particularly in the general mathematics. So the first milk is the learner represents real life situations using functions including piecewise functions. So this is the first milk that we are going to discuss today. So let's now have our topic is all about functions. So what is a function? So a function is a rule of correspondence between two non-empty sets such that each element of the first set is called the domain and there corresponds one and only one element of the second set which is called the range. So to illustrate functions, there are five tips to know. So the first is we have the table of values. Second is through mapping. Third, through ordered pairs. Fourth, graphing. And the fifth, equations. These are the five illustrations in which we are going to represent the real life situation involving functions. And okay, so let's now have to illustrate which of the given illustrations represent functions. So for number one, we have table of values, we have two given. Number one, or letter A, we have x to the y. As you can see, our domain is our x represents, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and our y is 3, 4, 5, 6. So our x, wala kung nag-repeat, so we, this is a function. For letter B, is it a function or not? So for the table of values, for our domain x, 1, 2, 3, 1. If mayroong mag-repeat, meaning not function. So may nag-repeat ba? We have 1. Okay, since nag-repeat yung domain x, this is not a function. For the mapping, the same procedure as you can see our x, we have the names Mario, Rico, and Maria. And our y represents the cell phone numbers. So we have a 4 cell phone number. So for Mario, he has only 1 cell phone number. Rico has only one cell phone number, but Maria has two cell phone numbers, meaning that we pick a Maria, Maria to the first cell phone number, Maria to the second cell phone number. Since the one sa kanya, it means not functions. For the ordered pairs, so we have our given, so we have one, two, 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 three. So as you can see, we just look at the first element which is the domain 1, 2, 2. Since the repeat yung 2, automatically this is not a function. For letter B, okay, let's find out. We have here our x, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. May na repeat ba? Okay, wala. So since wala, this is a function. Kahit mag-repeat pa yung second range na 1, 1, but you just look at the first element of our domain. Okay, let's proceed now for graphing. For graphing, it is very easy to find out if this is a function. You just have the vertical line test. Magdola tayo ng vertical line. If it touches only once, for example, this graph. Okay, we do a vertical line. As you can see, nag-touch po siya sa graph ng once. Since once lang po na-touch, that is a function. For the second graph, okay, let's have a vertical line test. Okay. So, di ba, nag-touch siya ng twice. Meaning more than once. So, meaning this is not a function. Pag more than once na po, na-touch yung vertical line test, so the graph is not a function. Let's now have the last illustration. is all about equation. For the technique on how to know about the function, so you just look at the y values. Okay, so pag mayroong exponent ng y more than 1, automatic not function. Although we have here our given a is equal to y equals 2x squared. So as you can see, our exponent for y is 1. So therefore, this is a function. If more than 1 po ang y, for letter b, b is equals y squared. So meaning, more than 1 po ang y value or exponent. So this is not a function. So that is how to illustrate the given functions of our real numbers.
Okay, here are some real life situations that make use of functions. So for example, letter A, the area A of a circle is a function of its radius R. So our function is A, which is our area, is equal to pi R squared, where R is our radius. So that is first example. For the second, letter B, the approximate amount of community tax or the sin of X paid by a taxpayer whose gross income is X in pesos is represented by the function C of X equals 5 plus X over 1,000. Okay, so here is the last example for the function to illustrate the real life situation. We have a piecewise. Example C, the table shows the free post rates for sending printed materials. So we have our own weight for the printed materials if we have price and we have function. So for the weight, we have 20 grams and below, the price is 14 pesos. To represent for function, we have the set W less than or equal to 20, meaning less than 20 grams. That is 14 pesos. Then for the weight more than 20 grams but not over 50 grams is represented by 20 less than W less than or equal to 50. Then we have our amount is 32 pesos. So we have the pair is 32 pesos. So these are the piecewise functions. So I hope you have learned about functions, how to illustrate real life situations using functions and including piecewise functions. Thank you very much for watching.